Okay, let's go down the rabbit hole just a little bit more. Okay, we are electrical machines. Our brains, um, if you were watching them, it would look like uh, a lightning storm. So we're, we're electrical machines. To start our heart, we use jumper cables. We're electrical machines. So think of this supercomputer that's been given all this download information. Okay, it's got all this information on everybody. So imagine yourself almost like that. You got all this download information from the world. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. This is your life experience. Your database, if it is as a good slave, as an Anunnaki, um, you could download the Old Testament, okay, by reading it. That's how you download it or you listen to it. Because then the Holy Spirit, which is the spirit of the Anunnaki king, which made Adam, which is our father, um, of which we all have that Adamic gene in us. This is how we're just one people. So if every single time you're faced with a situation where you have to make a decision, you just go, whatever you want to call God, I call him Allah. You know, it's like, okay, what am I supposed to think about this? Show me, show me how to deal with this or how to absorb this or how to take this. How do I download this? You know, how do I yay, nay, or disregard, right? So when, when you're in a mind frame of being, say, a computer, where you're just taking in all this information, you're judging it uh, not emotionally at all, just as pure information. So you read the Old Testament, and you don't think about it too much unless the Anunnaki want you to, and then they'll make that scripture stand out. The Anunnaki are around us all the time. They're visible. And... If, if they see that you're a person who's willing to change, um, say an example is you have a negative thought and you immediately go, I just had a negative thought. Lord, like, what am I supposed to do about that? And you recognize that there's other Anunnaki that are invisible that are trying to make you think in a negative way or trying to convince you to um, do wrong. There's two groups, right? And uh, if, you, if you adhere another god to the Anunnaki king, um, who is Allah, Jehovah, Yahweh, um, you're assigned an actual devil. So you're assigned a jinn or an alien that is going to whisper negative things into you because you're not, you're not abiding to the rules. You right now look like chaff. So you're useless. So throw you to the wolves kind of thing. If you really believe in UFOs and you really believe in the Anunnaki and you really do believe that they're returning, um, you must include the scriptures. Because that is... Who do you think is talking to us in these scriptures? Seriously. You can't be that dumb. You have to know that there's a higher power. There's a friggin' Bible code in the first five books of Moses. And if you don't believe me, type it in to uh, Google. Bible code. There's a matrix in there. And, and what they did is they took the, each, each scroll and, and attached it end to end on a drum. So it was just one continuous thing. And by skipping certain numbers and things like that, you can find out all kinds of stuff. Names of names of, uh, like Obama's there, um, under him is prophet or right through him or something like that. So if there's an intelligent being that is smart enough to put something that we wouldn't be able to even know was there until we invented a computer uh, into the five books of, of Moses, and yet you believe in UFOs and aliens... Okay, you've got to pull it all together because, yeah, they are coming back, and they're coming back really soon. They're bringing their, their leader, who is what we know as the Messiah, who is Jesus. 
okay like it's it's not a joke okay when they take people from this planet this planet turns into literally lava okay and and if you listen to the quran you can hear as the earth basically starts to die because the earth spirit actually when called when that trumpet blows the spirit of the earth which is an entity leaves this planet and goes and prostates itself before before the lord who's who's the king of the anunnaki of all jinn of ever everything so uh just thought you might want to think about that okay there's a higher level of ufo sightings okay there's a lot more earthquakes okay something's gonna blow something's gonna happen and you really do want to be brought with the anunnaki you really do want to ascend and if you're trying to do it alone you're not going to be able to do it okay you're from you're from the single soul of adam and his soul was split that's how we got eve and then it was split and split and split and split all of us have our soul which is ours but it's also created through that adam soul okay so good luck hope you figured out and um, send me private messages if you want to have a conversation about anything okay bye god bless